Hey guys, this is Christian from the Architect channel, and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about phasing, as in existing plans, demolition, new construction, and everything in between. So to begin, we're going to go up to the ribbon up here, and under the Manage tab, we're going to go all the way to the right and click that Phases button. This will show you the current phases in your project, and right now you'll see that I have two, the existing and the new construction phase. And something you need to know about how Revit does phasing is that there's not really a demolition phase. It's kind of included into this new construction phase, but I'll talk to you a little bit more in detail about that later. And something else you need to know, or something that I need to know for this project, is that I'm assuming you have a renovation project on your hands, because right now everything should be on the existing phase layer. And you can easily check that by clicking on an item, going down to this uh, phase panel, and see that it was created in the existing phase. And that should be the same for your furniture, existing uh, windows, existing, sometimes the panels move around, but it, they should all say existing. But why don't we change that? Um, I have a 3D view over here to show you our options. I guess we can demo the dining room, kitchen, living room. Uh, but I was thinking we can demo this kitchen over here. We can get rid of the furniture behind that. We can demo the island as well as the base cabinetry. And we can probably just put another living room there. Like, why not? We can create a really bougie looking uh, building. And who cooks in the kitchen anyways, am I right? But to actually start on that, we're going to select a piece of furniture in the kitchen. And you'll see that, uh, like I mentioned earlier, the phase it was created in was the existing phase, but it was never demolished because it was set to none. And I kind of think of this as a, that one Isaac Newton law, an object in motion will stay in motion. An object that's existing will stay existing. I mean, duh. But unless we demo it by changing that to new construction, uh, we are telling it that it will start in the project as an existing product. But once it changes to the new construction phase, this is going to be demoed. And right now, you can see that nothing really changed on the plan right now. I mean, the one that's demolished is sitting right next to the one that's not demolished. But that is because if you go into the properties panel, uh, under the phasing, we have a phase filter right now. So right now it is showing everything on the existing phase. But once we change that to new construction, it should show that it is going to be um, uh, demolished. Dem demolished. Sorry, that's a little <laughs> voice crack. But we're going to change the rest of this furniture to the new construction phase as well. Um... That shouldn't pop up for you. That other one shouldn't pop up for you either. I don't know what that was, but let's just ignore that. Uh, but let's start changing the face filter. So right now we have show all and it was existing and now we're going to new construction. And this is going to show the proposed plans before we actually uh, complete the demolition. However, if we change this filter to show complete new construction, it is going to be gone because that is because after new construction, uh, or we're under the show complete filter. So after the new construction has completed, it is going to be demoed by then. So there's nothing there. So just to confirm one more time, show all existing is going to show the existing plan. Show all new construction is going to show the proposed plans and show complete new construction is going to show what it looks like after the renovation. But now that we have that figured out, uh, we can kind of make it look a little more pretty. And what does that mean? Make it look pretty. My drawings are already pretty, you're probably saying, but uh, let's change this to show all new construction as well. And you can see that it's kind of hard to see with all these dash lines, like what's being demoed, what isn't being demoed. So we can hit VG, actually, don't hit VG. We can go to phases in graphical overrides. We're gonna go over there. And let me just move this off to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to go into the demolish phase status and make the weight a little stronger and hit apply. All right, that didn't seem to do much, but <laughs> let's add a pattern. And since it's being demoed, I want to add a red outline to everything to kind of show that it's going to be destroyed. If we hit OK and apply, you can see that it's really red. Maybe we can make it a little lighter of a red. T -t 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 Mm, don't see any great options. Might just mess with the coloring over here. 
Maybe pink will look better. And maybe we can even add um, a hatch on top of that. So let's do a diagonal hatch and we can do that with the original red we selected. And I don't think that looks that bad. Uh, we can even make this red a little darker. And maybe we can make uh, the outline darker as well. Let's see how that looks. All right, maybe the outline was a little too much. Maybe purple. Let's try that. But yeah, this is a lot of playing with the actual tools, but this truly makes it stand out a little bit. If we go back to the level or our level view, hit show all new construction as well, it will show what's being demolished in here as well. So it's a nice little filter color to kind of emphasize what is being demolished and what is not being demolished. However, uh, we, if we go back to show complete new construction, we still don't have our secondary living room that is oh so essential for this building. So to do that, I'm probably just going to straight up copy this furniture over here. Um, might just flip it outside. Remove constraints. Rev, it's always constraining my design powers, am I right? But I'll rotate that 90 degrees as well, and I'll move this into our new secondary living room. And it's kind of in the middle of the ground right now. I'll move the level up. Move that to level one, and let's move it maybe a foot forward. Did I type a foot? Oh, we're in metric. Gosh darn it. I thought I was in American units. Imperial units. Darn metric system. <laughs> I'm just messing. I'm just messing. But, um, you know what? Structural column. You are being <laughs> demoed as well. Don't do that in real projects. But now you can see uh, we have something actually there. So once again, we can hit show all existing, show what it used to be, and then show complete new construction to show what it currently is. There's, um, I know that it sometimes bugs out when you do show all new construction. It kind of overlays the two, but I'm, I believe if we hit show previous and demo, yeah, that fixes it. If we hit show previous plus demo new construction, it'll show what's currently being demoed as well with our structural beam over here. But that is how you do phasing inside of Reddit. You don't need to create any demolition fans or fans. I combined plans with phases, but you don't have to create any demolition phase and that's all you have to do. So thank you for watching. If you want to see more Revit tips and tricks like this, remember to subscribe. And I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.